Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to make a fishing themed ring toss hook it game. Now I've made several of these games in the past. Um, I wanted to kind of give it a nautical uh, feel. Uh, so I carved a fish and this one's a striped bass. I added some waves underneath and I actually used a fishing pole as the shaft to hold the string. This project started by carving out the fish and I, I covered this whole project on another video. I'll put the link right up on this screen and also in the comments, uh, but it was actually a pretty easy project. Uh, two pieces of pine that were glued together and then I really just did most of the carving with an angle grinder and a, a flap sanding wheel. Uh, I ended up staining it and I ended up uh, you know, giving it three or four clear coats uh, to protect it from the elements. But this is how it looks when mounted to a, a 4x4 light post in my backyard. I wanted to really give it that fishing theme, uh, so I added a fishing pole. This is a, a kid's rod that I found in my garage. Um, I used a hook, just a screw-in hook, and a 2-inch brass ring. The waves, again, just carved out of pine, nothing special. Uh, most of it just done with that same flap sanding wheel and a little Dremel grinder. Uh, the two inch ring, I attached a braided line to that pole so that it wouldn't stretch over time. Now this particular pole is a little bit flexible. It gives the, the ring a little bit of a bounce, maybe too much, uh, but you can get used to it. And it is a, a, a pretty cool little outdoor game. Um, if I were to change anything at all, I would probably just get a little bit of a stiffer pole, you know, maybe a deep sea pole. But other than that, I am very happy, uh, not only with the way it looks, but also uh, with the, the way the game uh, you know, is played. So very simple project, uh, and this is really just a, an overview of it. Like I said, the fish was carved on a previous video, uh, so all I did was mount the pole and I used two little electrical um, you know, wire clamps to do that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. By all means, check out all of the nautical uh, do-it-yourself projects I've got on DIYEasyCrafts.com. Thank you very much for watching.